What, what do you want? Oh, I want slack. Need a net or is he small? I hadn't seen him. There you go. 15 pounds. We thank him. Was he laying on the bottom? Yeah. I don't surprise me. It's cold snap. Alright guys, we're doing some drifting out here today. We got Bryce Stryker, Kim Stryker from B Cat Boards and Weights, Adam Cook from Nautical Pride Sport Fishing, and myself. And we just put one in the boat. We ain't a giant, but it's a start, and we ain't been skunk. What do you think, Kim? <laughs> Got some mud on him, don't it? We think 15 pounds of paddle. 12. Oh. Right, Adam's yeah. breaking up in the box his new B cat boards. Look at that smile on that boy's face. <laughs> I can't wait to see how that turned out. I got him to do the board black to match your boats and the orange top so you can see them good. That is sweet. Y'all did an awesome job. Sorry about the crunch, my brows on one. <laughs> it looks like it's gonna be a pretty decent one. Excuse me, Kim. Yeah, that's a 50 class. Boom, how about that, bro? Personal best beat there, bro. <laughs> Woo! That's what we're talking about right there. I believe he's 50. What do you think about that, bro? Big. <laughs> yeah, I can see where you had the rock boat up. All right, guys, we're gonna get him out of the net and unhook him, and then we're gonna throw a scale on him. That's Bry's personal best. Two pounds off of the net, so it's fifty. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome.
Alright, Kim's on a note. Still fun that one again. Alright bro, how'd you get into building these boards? I don't know, we were fishing some catfish tournaments and we were trolling with my buddy's boards and and uh, I, I haven't even fished. I've never fished really and I didn't like the way they presented. You know, they couldn't hardly see them or whatever. And I was flying radio controlled planes at the time, aerobatics. And our planes were built light and but strong enough to perform. So I decided I was going to make some boards and try to do what I, you know, like the planes. And I come up with a light board and the heavier foam to support more weight. That was, that was the performance part of it, holding more weight. And the thinner board was for being light, but they're strong enough to do their job out in the water. And they pull out good and they support a lot of weight. And that's... That's basically how I got into it. Yeah, I like the fact that you can see them. Yeah, you can see them really good. And you know, they're not sinking like you were speaking on earlier. Like, yeah. <clears throat> you know, holding a lot of weight, you could do are barely out of the water. And, right, right. Yeah. So, so I just kind of took the technology of the airplane thing and put it into the boards. And that's how it, how it happened. Mm. Never expected it to do what it did, but that's what happened. Right. Yeah. So you, you really didn't set out to start a business with it. You no. Just, uh, uh, not really, not at all. <clears throat> no. Nope. In fact, my I never even really wanted to fish up until seven years ago. And <laughs> my buddy, my buddy says, "You sit in a deer stand for eight hours a day." I go, well, "Yeah." I said, "Well, fishing's boring." He goes, "But you sit in a deer stand for eight hours a day, maybe ten. And I walked away from that. And I go, "I think that guy's got a point." <laughs> so we went on a fishing tournament with him and. Didn't catch nothing that day, but then it's like, I got to get a boat. That was right. it. I was hooked, yeah. Yeah, I'm building boards, and now you built some of the best boards on the market. And I haven't been hunting since. Oh. Nope. <laughs> you got to get back in the woods. and. No, I don't know. I'm good. I'm good with that. We used to be able to hunt right out behind the house, and that turned into a mess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that was good letting us know how you got into it. That's yeah, that's how it happened. Pretty knowledgeable. Yeah. Awesome boards. Thanks. And she's the one that designs them and does all the labels. And <laughs> <clears throat> what do you like about doing them, Kim? Hmm? What do you like about doing the boards? The different designs. Programming? So, yeah, programming. Cutting the vinyl. Seeing what they look like after. They're all different. So do you like to see the people's faces when you mm-hmm. give them to them? <laughs> like me this morning when I seen Adam's boards we had made, I thought they were absolutely amazing. Yeah. Well, anyway, I appreciate y'all uh, giving me some of that knowledge from y'all.